فاشرف بي لاشتغال بالعلم ولا تبغي به ما عشت يا ذا بدلا ويا له من شرف عظيم الحمد لله رب العالمين والعاقبة للمتقين ولا عدوان إلا على الظالمين وأصلي وأسلم على من أرسله الله رحمة للعالمين سيدنا ونبينا محمد وعلى آله وأصحابه والتابعين لهم بإحسان إلى يوم الدين أما بعد My beloved brothers and sisters A Muslim A mu'min who believes in Allah and the day of judgment Today in the kind of time that we're living and in the kind of society that we're living in the person will feel غريب, a stranger amongst his loved ones, the people who he loved his own family members he feels like a stranger and the reason for that is because he wants to call to the people that which will benefit them their worldly affairs and that which will benefit them in the hereafter. But the real reason is because for you to call the people to that which is beneficial for them in the hereafter and that which is beneficial for them in this world, you would have to go against the people's whims and desires. And the minute that you start to wage war against the people, people's whims and desires, you start to realize that your enemies are more than your allies and you become a gharib, a stranger the most closest, the most beloved people to you become your enemies they are the ones who expose you and they are the ones who mention your shortcoming and your faults and they are the ones you are thinking about and they are the ones who you are concerned for. Al Imam Ibn Rajab al Hanbali, Rahimahullah. Al Imam Ibn Rajab al Hanbali, Rahimahullah. He wrote a book and he called it Kashf al Kurba. Kashf al Kurba. Fi wasf hali ahl al Gurba. Kashf al Kurba. في وصف حال الغربة Removing the distress from the people who are strangers He called it a distress You're Removing from them a distress Ibn Rajab describes in that book of his By the way that book he wrote it pertaining to a particular hadith which we're going to come to which is بدأ الإسلام غريبا وسيعود غريبا كما بدأ فطوبى للغربة The hadith Imam Al-Imam uh, Muslim Ibn Majah Al-Ahmed and uh, Jurri Rahimahullah They all narrated in their books uh, On the authority of Abu Huraira Radiyallahu ta'ala Anhu And we will be speaking about that Bi-idhnillah al-kareem This hadith And extract benefits from it Ibn Rajab wrote that book On that particular hadith But when he was Writing In his book he was trying to describe the khalq, the creation, the human beings, how they are. And he gave a description about them. And he said about them, فَفُتِنُوا بِالدُّنْيَا وَزَهْرَتِهَا That the people have been tested with the dunya and its glitters and its glamour. وَصَارَتْ غَايَةُ قَصْدِهِمْ And the dunya became their ultimate objective, their ultimate goal. لَهَا يَطْلُبُونَ وَبِهَا يَرْضُونَ For the dunya, they request. And for the dunya, they become pleased. وَلَهَا يَغْضِبُونَ And for the dunya, they get angry. وَلَهَا يُوَالُونَ And because of the dunya, they give allegiance. وَعَلَيْهَا يُعَادُونَ and because of the dunya, they show enmity towards one another. And because of the dunya, they have cut the ties of kinship. And they spilled each other's bloods. And they committed the disobedience 
of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala be sababi dhalika because of the because of the dunya and its glitters and its glamours. So the people of the strangers, Ahlul Ghurba, they are the ones who are who are fighting with the people's desires for the dunya that they have. Lidalik Allah said in Surah Hud Ayah 116. Ayah 116, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala he says, Falaula kana من القرون من قبلكم أولو بقية ينهون عن الفساد في الأرض إلا قليلا ممن أنجينا منهم الله says فلولا أن كان فلولا كان if it wasn't من القرون from the generations if there wasn't من قبلكم before you بقية ينهون عن الفساد في الأرض a portion a group who remain who prohibit from corruption fil ardi on this earth and Allah then says illa qalilan they are only little who do that mimman anjaynahum those who we saved al imam ibn al qayyim rahimahullah when he brought this book in his kitab madarij al salikin the description of these people who set, who protect this earth from corruption who are little in number who are the they are the remaining righteous people who Allah saved Ibn al-Qayyim said, فَإِنَّ الْغُرَبَاءَ فِي الْعَالَمِ هُمْ أَهْلُ هَذِهِ الصِّفَةِ الْمَذْكُورَةِ فِي الْعَيَةِ Ibn al-Qayyim said the strangers, in this world, they are the ones who have that description. In, that is mentioned in this ayah. Meaning this ayah is actually talking about the people of Ahlul al-Ghurba. And there's a hadith, which Ahmad ibn Hanbal, Al-Imam Al-Ajurri, Ibn Al-Mubarak, Al-Bayhaqi in his kitab Zuhud Al-Kabir, Ibn Asak in Tariq Al-Dimashq, on the authority of Abdullah ibn Amr ibn Al-As, in which the Messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam says, Tuba lil ghuraba, Tuba lil ghuraba, the word Tuba means prosperity, in this dunya and in the hereafter. As Imam Al-Nawawi rahimahullah, he said in his, Sharh Sahih Muslim. For who? The strangers. The companions then asked, وَمَنِ الْغُرَبَاءُ يَا رَسُولَ اللَّهِ Who are the strangers? The Prophet gave them a description, my beloved brothers and sisters. The Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he said, أُنَاسٌ صَالِحُونَ قَلِيلٌ فِي أُنَاسٍ سُوءٍ كَثِيرٍ They are a people who are righteous. They are little in the midst of a large amount of evil people. Man ya'asihim, those who disobey them, are more in number, aktharu mimman yuti'uhum, are more in number than those who obey them. So the description that the Messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam gave pertaining to them was what? They are a righteous people, but they are little. They are little in number. And they live in a place where there are a large amount of evil people. The people who listen to them, who take their advice, who take their guidance, are little. And those who disobey them are large in number. And no doubt that's going to happen because this individual is fighting against the people's whims and desires. And of course, the hadith which I mentioned before, Imam Muslim mentions in his Sahih, Ibn Majah, Al -Ah Imam Ahmad in his Musnad, Al Imam Al Ajurri, by the way, he wrote a whole book called Al Ghuraba. He has a book on it. Al Imam Al Ajurri, Rahimahullah. He brings another hadith on the authority this time on Abu Hurairah, Radiallahu Ta'ala Anhu. That the Messenger, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, he said, Bada al Islam Gariban. Islam started strange. Islam started. It started strange. وَسَيَعُودُ And it will go back to كَمَا بَدَأَ The way it started. Strange. فَطُوبَ لِلْغُرَبَاءِ Prosperity and good for the strangers. These are the غُرَبَاء. Ibn Rajab al-Hanbali رحمه الله in his kitab كَشْفِ الْقُرْبَةِ فِي وَصْفِ حَالِ الْغُرْبَةِ He says وَلِهَذَا جَاءَ فِي أَحَادِيثِ 
And because of that, there has come narrations excessive in number. Muta'addidatin. Madhul mutamassiku bidini fi akhiri zaman. That praises the one who is holding onto his religion in the later stages of this world. وَأَنَّهُ كَالْقَابِضُ عَلَى الْجَمْرِ And like he, he, and that he is like a person who is holding on to hot charcoal. Because he's a, the reason why the praise has come in regarding this individual, Ibn Rajab is trying to say, is that it's a time of حَالَةِ الْغُرْبَةِ زَمَنِ الْغُرْبَةِ It's the time that person feels strange. He is alone. His loved ones. His friends have now turned on him. I want you all to, inshallah ta'ala, I'm going to read on you the statement of Al-Imam ibn al-Qayyim al-Jawziyya rahimahullah in his kitab Madarij al-Sarikin. On the fourth volume, page 22, he says, Wallahi statement, يستحق أن يكتب بماء الذهب. These words, they deserve all of them to be written in ink of gold. And if a person in the course of their life, while studying and while giving da'wah, they place this statement of his in front of their eyes and they consistently look at it, it, wallahi, without a shadow of a doubt, is a tasliyah. It is something that gives you warmth in your heart, tranquility and reassurance, that there's nothing to worry about. Ibn al-Qayyib, rahimahullah, he says, فَهَاؤُلَاءِ ذُوزِ هُمُ الْغُرَبَاءِ They are the strangers. الْمَمْدُوحُونَ الْمَغْبُوطُونَ Those praised worthy ones who the people will, the day of judgment, they would want to be in their place. وَلِقِلَّتِهِمْ فِي نَاسِ جِدَّا وَلِقِلَّتِهِمْ فِي النَّاسِ جِدًّا And they are very little in the people. The غُرَبَاء are very little in the people. Summu Guraba. The reason why they are called Guraba strangers is he says, Fa inna aksara nasi ala gayri hadihi sifat. Because the majority of the people are not upon their description. A stranger is what? The reason why they are called strangers is why? The reason why they are called strangers is because the majority of the people are not of the description they are. And a stranger is when he is not what the rest of the people are. He's, he doesn't hold the same characteristics as the other people. And then look what he gives you an example. He says, فَأَهْلُ الْإِسْلَامِ فِي النَّاسِ غُرَبَةِ The people of Islam are strangers in the people. They're strangers. A sister's wearing a hijab. The people are looking at her. غريب. A person wants to pray the salah when it comes in. And he prays on the street sometimes. He has to pray because the salah entered. He's a gharib. People are looking at him as a stranger. The religion of Islam is gharib. But then what's more even gharib? وَالْمُؤْمِنُونَ فِي أَهْلِ الْإِسْلَامِ غُرَبَةِ The mu'mineen within Islam are even more of a strangers. وَأَهْلُ الْعِلْمِ فِي الْمُؤْمِنِينَ غُرَبَةِ And within the believers, the mu'mineen, the ahlu ilm the people of knowledge, are even more of a strangers. And then look what he says after that. And amongst the people of knowledge, Ahlu Sunnati wal Jama'ah are the what? Are even more of a strangers. Which Ahlu Sunnah? Which Ahlu Sunnah Ibn al Qayyim descri describes those? The, which ones are the ones who are strangers, my brothers? Allah, pay attention. As I said before, these words they deserve to be written in ink of gold. Ibn al Qayyim says, Wa Ahlu Sunnati ladina yumayyizuna min al ahwa'i wal bid'ah fahum uraba. The people of the Sunnah who are distinguishing the whims and the desires and the innovation, who are, break, who are distinguishing in it, show, exposing the innovation, exposing the desires of the people, they are verily ghuraba. Pay attention, he still goes on to say in what? وَالدَّاعُونَ إِلَيْهَا أَصَّابِرُونَ عَلَىٰ أَذَى الْمُخَالِفِينَ هُمْ أَشَدُّ هَأُولَاءِ غُرَبَةً And you know what's even more of a stranger now, from within those ones, is the ones who are calling to it. The Sunnah. Or calling to the Sunnah. As-sabirun ala adha al-mukhalifin. Who are patient upon the harm of the opponents. Hum ashaddu ha'ulai ghurbatan. They are even in a most 
they are even more of a strangers. But the truth is, they are the people of Allah, truly. They might be strangers in this world, but they are the people of Allah. Really, there's no strangeness to them. But they're only strangers to the majority. The majority in which Allah has said regarding them. In Surah Al-An'am, Ayah 116, Allah says, And if you obey the majority of the people on the earth, they will misguide you from the straight path. The majority are truly strangers from Allah. Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and they are also strangers from the Messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and his religion. وَغُرْبَتُهُمْ هِيَ الْغُرْبَةُ الْمُوحِشَةُ And those majority, their strangers is the strangest that is loneliness. وَإِن كَانُوا هُمُ الْمَعْرُوفِينَ الْمُشَارُ إِلَيْهِمْ Even that though they are, the well-known ones on this earth and the ones that the people point towards, meaning the majority. In ta kalam with the statement of Ibn al-Qayyim finishes there. This speech and this statement is, its weight is very heavy, wallah. The statement of Ibn al-Qayyim, rahimahullah, is a tasli, as I said. It gives you that tranquility and that. That insha'Allah ta'ala, that you either have to choose between between you have to choose between either being the gharib in this world or being the gharib from Allah Taala and His Messenger. That being the case, the true believer, my brothers, they are strange in their religion, and the reason why they are strange in their religion is because they are holding on to their religion correctly. So when they hold on to it correctly, it makes those who are what? Those who are not holding on to their religion correctly, see them as gharib. And those who are holding on to the sunnah become ghuraba, strangers. Because those who have now fell into following these ayahs and innovation, see them as ghuraba, gharib, strangers. Also, the one whose aqidah is perfected and is following the correct aqidah, those whose aqidah has become corrupt and those whose aqaid has become deficient and tainted are now looking at those who are holding to the correct aqidah as strangers. Those who are praying the salah correctly, who are perfecting their prayer as they should do, are being seen as strangers because of the people tainting their prayer and the way that they should pray. So when the people divert from the straight path, and they take a path other than the path of the Messenger والسلام, they then turn towards those who are holding onto the path of the, the Messenger والسلام, as a stranger. Ibn al-Qayyim rahimahullah, he says, and this is a description he gives to us pertaining to the people who are the Ghuraba. So if you want to be from them, you need to look for these characteristics in you. وَمِنْ صِفَاتِ هَؤُلَاءِ الْغُرَبَاءِ الَّذِينَ غَبَطَهُمُ النَّبِيُّ صلى الله عليه وسلم. The characteristics of the strangers is what? التَّمَسُّكِ بِالسُّنَّةِ They hold on to the sunnah of the Messenger صلى الله عليه وسلم. وَإِذَا رَغِبَ عَنْهَا النَّاسُ Even if the people do not desire anymore. They hold on to the sunnah even if the people are not uh, in love with the sunnah. وَتَرْكُ مَا أَحْدَثُوهُ And they leave off that which the people have innovated. وَإِنْ كَانَ هُوَ الْمَعْرُوفُ عِنْدَهُمْ Even if the innovation has become the common thing, the common trend. وَتَجْرِيدُ التَّوْحِيدِ And the characteristics of the people of غُرَبَاء, the strangers, is they purely come with tawheed for Allah Tabarak wa Ta'ala. And they strip it from shirk. وَإِنْ أَنْكَرَ ذَلِكَ أَكْثَرُ النَّاسِ Even if the majority of the people reject that concept from them. And also from their characteristics is what? وَتَرْكُ الْإِمْتِسَابِ إِلَىٰ أَحَدٍ غَيْرِ اللَّهِ وَرَسُولِهِ They leave off attributing themselves to anyone besides Allah and His Messenger. لَا شَيْخَ وَلَا طَرِيقَةَ وَلَا مَذْهَبَ وَلَا طَائِفَةَ They do not attribute themselves to a teacher. And they do not attribute themselves to a path. And they do not attribute themselves to a methodology. 
and they do not attribute themselves to a group. بَلْ هَؤُلَاءِ الْغُرَبَاءِ مُنْتَسِبِينَ إِلَى اللَّهِ بِالْعُبُودِيَّةِ لَهُ وَحَدَهُ They only attribute themselves, the غُرَبَاء, to Allah Taala with servitude. Him alone. And to the Messenger Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam by following him with that which he has come with Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Ibn Al-Qayyim then goes on to say, وَهَاُولَاءِ Those whose description I have given you, هُمُ الْقَابِضُونَ عَلَى الْجَمْرِ They are the ones who are holding on to the hot charcoal. حَقًا Really. Ibn Rajab Al-Hanbali رحمه الله He said in his kitab, كَشْفِ الْكُرْبَةِ Page 320. These are quotes and statements that one needs to write and to memorize these quotes if he can. And to understand them and to live by them, inshaAllah ta'ala. Ibn Rajab al-Hanbari, he said, وَإِنَّمَا ذَلَّ الْمُؤْمِنُ آخِرَ الزَّمَانِ لِغُرْبَةِ بَيْنَ أَهْلِ الْفَسَادِ مِنْ أَهْلِ الشُّبُهَاتِ وَالشَّهَوَاتِ The believer has become humiliated in the Akhir al-Zaman, just before the hour, لِغُرْبَةِ because of him being a stranger, between the people of whims and desires and the people of doubts. فَكُلُّهُمْ يَكْرَهُهُ All of them dislike him. وَيُوذِيهُ And they even harm him. لِمُخَالَفَةِ طَرِيقَتِهِ لِطَرِيقَتِهِمْ They harm him because of him opposing the path in which they were upon. وَمَقْصُودِهِ لِمَقْصُودِهِمْ And the fact that he has an objective opposite to the objective that they have. وَمُبَايَنَتِهِ لَهُمْ فِي مَا هُمْ عَلَيْهِ And the fact that he has taken a path other than the path which they are upon. They hate him. They harm him because of that. أَهْلُ الْشُبُهَاتِ shahawat. The people of whims and desires and the people of doubts. My brothers and sisters who are listening, the issue of giving this name and title to a people and saying غُرَبَا it was something that the Salaf used to do at their time. Meaning, the Ghurba was even present at the time of the Salaf. The strangeness, the, to be a stranger in your community and in your people is something that the pious predecessors also, they felt and they, they were going through. Al-Imam Al-Lalaka'i wa Abu Qasim Hibatullahi Al-Lalaka'i in his kitab, Usul Al-Iqadi Ahli Sunnati Wal Jama'a, Ibn Al-Jawzi in his kitab, Talbisu Iblis, Abu Nu'aym Al-Asbahani, in his kitab, Hiliyatul Awliya wa Tabaqatul Asfiya, and Al-Bayhaqi in his kitab, Manaqib Al-Shafi'i, with a chain of narration which is Hassan, as the memory of the Habibi Sir Ala bin Ubala Al-Suyuti in Miftahul Jannah, they all considered it to be a atharul, a statement which is Hassan. That Sufyan Al-Thawri, Rahimahu Allah, he said, Istawsu bi Ahli Sunnati Khayra, fa innahum ghurabau. Give farewell to the people of the Sunnah with good. For verily they are strangers. Because all of us are aware, my, bro my brothers and sisters, Islam, it started off with individuals and a minute and a very small amount of people. And the Day of Judgment, when it comes, it will go back to exactly how it used to be. Like the Messenger Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, Dar al-Arqam, the small number of people, Islam will go back to that. But the Islam Mughariban, Islam started off strange. Quraysh were amazed with what the Prophet was doing. His movements, his actions, everything just looked strange. And everything's going to go back to that. Sufyan al-Thawri, Sufyan al-Thawri, this statement is also again Hassan Abu Nu'aym al Asbahani in his kitab Hiliyat al Awliya wa Tabakat al Asfiya, Ibn al Jawzi in his kitab Talbis al Iblis, Al Lalakaiyu in his kitab Usul al Tiqadi al Sunnah wal Jama'a, and the statement is Athar, which is, uh, is Hassan, inshaAllah ta'ala, is sound. That Sufyan al Thawriyu said to Yusuf ibn Asbad, Sufyan al Thawriyu said to Yusuf ibn Asbad, he said to him, Ida balagaka al Rajulin bil Mashriq anna usahiba sunnah. If it reaches you that in Mashriq there's a man of the Sunnah there, Fab'ath ilayhi bis salam, send to him my salam. Say somebody go to him and give him my salams. Convey my salam to him. Wa ida balaga ka an akara bil maghribi. And if you find another one in Maghrib, you see, 
أنه صاحب السنة that he is a man of the سنة فبعث إليه بالسلام send to him a salams فقد قل أهل السنة والجماعة because verily the people of the سنة and the جماعة are very little الإمام ابن مفلح رحمه الله <coughs> الإمام ابن مفلح رحمه الله he has a book with الأداب الشرعية ابن مفلح he was a student of Sheikh Al-Islam Ibn Taymiyyah. Ibn Taymiyyah said to him, You are not Ibn Muflih, you are Muflih. Uh, you yourself are Muflih, you're successful yourself. You're not the, fa- the son of Muflih, but you yourself are Muflih. Ibn Taymiyyah said this to him. Very knowledgeable individual. A great scholar. <coughs> and he was very strong in the Hanbali Madhab. Very strong. He has a book called Al-Furuq. Al-Furuq, sorry. Al-Furuq. He has a book called Al-Furuq. And there's also a book, a very four, five, four, four volumes, four volumes, book on manners and etiquettes. Very strong book. He said in the first volume, page 263, he says, Pay attention to this. He said it is needed, it is required that one knows that the majority of matters a lot of the people they do it in opposition to the to the sharia legislation so he's trying to say to you it is it is required from every single one of us to know that the majority of the people in their affairs they do it in opposition to the sharia pay attention and then that that opposition becomes famous well spread and a lot of people then start to follow them in this action. So it becomes well spreaded. And it becomes well known. And it becomes the norms. And he said it is then Fardu'ain specifically of individual obligation on the one who knows that this opposes the kitab and the sunnah the one who finds out that this is this act that the people have now became made it the norms and it goes against the kitab and the sunnah the one who knows it is upon him to oppose them in it by way of speech and by way of action are you with me and he should not uh, hold back in doing that because he feels like he's alone on this or he has no, he has very few who are going to follow him in this. He shouldn't be fooled by the majority, basically, and he should not feel uh, inferiority, inferiority complex that I am alone. I, I don't know what am I going to do. لا تغتر يا عبد الله. O slave of Allah subhanahu wa taala, do not be deceived by بكثرة الفاعلين the majority of the people who are doing it. Don't be deceived by them. Don't be. نعوذ بالله من الخذلان Oh Allah, do not humiliate us in this dunya. الإمام يونس بن عبيد رحمه الله الإمام يونس بن عبيد رحمه الله said a very powerful statement. He said أصبح من إذا عرف السنة عرفها غريبا وأغرب منه الذي يعرفها الإمام يونس بن عبيد رحمه الله he said it is very amazing. He's trying to say to us, it's become a time which is amazing at this moment. The one who would actually go and call the people to the Sunnah today. And what is more amazing and fascinating is the one who would actually accept that Sunnah when he's called to it. It's actually a strange. It's actually shocking that you even find a person calling to the sunnah nowadays. And what is even more shocking is what? (coughs) The one who, when he calls to the sunnah, those who would obey him is even more shocking. 